Let's talk about barrier methods. So first we have the external condom. This is going to be 85 to 98% effective. Remember, this isn't how effective it is at preventing STIs or HIV. This rate is how effective it is at preventing pregnancy. Condoms are free at various locations. Make sure to find your preference. So condoms are most commonly made from latex, but for individuals who are allergic to latex, there's also nitrile, polyisoprene, polyurethane, and animal membrane. It's important to remember that animal membrane condoms are effective at preventing pregnancy, but because they are porous, they have tiny holes in them, it does not prevent against STIs. So they are also good for one ejaculation and one sex act. The internal condom is gonna be 79 to 95% effective. You wanna make sure that you hold it in place during insertion and when repositioning. And it is also good for one ejaculation and one sex act. With both the external and internal condom, you never wanna use more than one condom at a time. Some people think double protection, but the friction can cause the condom to break. The dental dam is good for oral sex to prevent against STIs. If you do not have access to dental dams, you can always cut the tip off of a condom, cut down one of the sides and open it up and use it as a dental dam.